What's up Raptors fans? Continuing our series where we're looking at uh, newest Raptor members, new additions in the offseason. We've uh, talked about a couple guys on the site already and done some video breakdowns as well. This edition we're going to talk about Mr. Terrence Ross. Obviously sort of a, a tougher player to talk about as compared to say a Kyle Lowry or Landry Fields because we've seen those guys in NBA action. But if you uh, happen to catch any of the uh, Pac-12 action, um, then you saw Mr. Ross in action for Washington. Great player and a player who was a bit of a sleeper when you looked at who uh, some of the top wing draft picks were or who they were expected to be this last year you had a new number of guys like Jeremy Lamb who were sort of the guys that jumped out Harrison Barnes etc etc you could go on and not a lot of people knew a ton uh, about uh, about Terrence Ross but a very smooth player I think that's the first sort of adjective that jumps to mind when you talk about Ross and you talk about his strengths and something that was echoed when I just recently talked to Raptors assistant coach Eric Hughes about Ross and that's one of the things that pops out a very smooth player and that he He's a very good shooter, not only a very good shooter, but a very quick release, something that um, Hughes noted was such a, an important thing, you know, in terms of when they were looking at him as a draft pick, because you get a lot of good shooters out of the NCAA, but not all of them can successfully get shots off, off at the next level. Ross should be able to do that, and you may have some, seen some of that in, in summer league action. Moves well without the ball, does a lot of, of the, what you call, quote unquote, little things that um, sometimes it takes a while for uh, college players to pick up on, some of the small or nuances of the game and not just a shooter not just a one-dimensional player a very good defensive player um, has a lot of good defensive intangibles especially in terms of man-to-man -man defense already and you know that's sort of uh, not just because of his size he's got pretty good size at his position but also just from the way he played at Washington you know good defensive fundamentals Lorenzo Romar good program that they run there in terms of uh, you know instilling a lot of those uh, defensive attributes other strengths he's he's not uh, what you'd call sort of uber athletic Vince Carter athletic but he's kind of sneaky athletic because he can definitely get up there and, and, and he probably saw some of that in Summer League again and especially in uh, Pac-12 action. You know, there's some great uh, highlights of him throwing it down. And I think he's a player that's really going to surprise in sort of a, a, a mold of a, of a almost a Grant Hill. Grant Hill was very explosive, but you wouldn't think of him in the same way of, uh, when he came out of Duke as you would, say, a um, you know another player of, who was sort of known as a dunker more than anything. But Ross sort of has this, that athleticism where if he gets past you back door, he's going right to the rim and he, he'll, uh, he'll finish, which is great. Weaknesses, um, he's got lots of stuff to work on, obviously. This is a, a young player players coming into the NBA for his first season. He needs to get a lot stronger. I think that's one of the first things the Raptors uh, coaching staff uh, noted when I did talk about, you know, what are some of the things he's, he's got to improve upon. But you see that in a lot of young players. You saw that with DeMar DeRozan as well. And you still see that with DeMar. You know, it's something that uh, takes some adjustment. So strength and some of his overall skill sets too, obviously ball handling. Some of these things that wing players when they come into the NBA typically need to work on. You're going to see that with Ross as well. So I think what we'll see is a player who's going to have a, an immediate impact on the offensive side in terms of being able to shoot the ball and help out with some bench production in that uh, in that facility on the other side I think we'll see some decent defense I think he'll struggle against uh, stronger players especially in situations where he gets posted up or if guys are going by him and he's sort of uh, joining in on the uh, on the weak side on defensive rotations I think sometimes we'll see that he'll he's just not there yet um, and that's, that's that's to be expected but I think he's an exciting prospect because there's a lot of things that translate about his game right away. Something that you can't always say. I mean, I'm not the biggest DeMar DeRozan fan and not because I don't think he's a, you know, a great kid and a tremendously hard worker, but when he came into the league, sort of his his, his intangibles um, were, his, were his athletic talents and you've seen lots of uh, players that come into the NBA like Gerald Green who have that piece but don't have the basketball skills and it takes a while to round those up. Ross, I think, is, is further ahead in having some of those characteristics, especially his ability to shoot the basketball like we've talked about. And hopefully he'll be able to spread the floor a bit and something that the Raptors needed last year. Didn't have a ton of great production in terms of, of getting, uh, you know, creating space for some of the bigger guys, especially when uh, guys like Andrea Bargnani went down. You didn't have uh, the same room to operate inside. And I think that's something that Casey will, will use him off the bench in, in that regard to, to help with the offensive spread. And, and I think he's someone who can get out in the open court as well. You know, like I said, it's kind of sneaky athletic and he'll get out there enjoying the break. So it'll be exciting to see when you get these situations where he and DeMar play together. And I think we'll see some of that. I think talking to, again, the Raptors coaching staff, they're going to give DeMar some minutes of the three. 
They, they kind of have to based on the current rotation, current personnel. And then it'll be exciting to see, you know, a fast break with a Kyle Lowry or even a Jose Calderon with guys like uh, DeRozan and, and Ross filling the wings. So exciting to see. Uh, obviously a rookie season will be lots of work for him to do, but I think another good solid piece in the, in the overall Raptors uh, personnel picture. Ross, you showed me you can shoot the jumper, now you show me you have hops. He really does. <laughs>